Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for the 4th to the 11th of July. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you're new or you're returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and you become a part of our collective. Let's see what's going on for you as this week in the tarot. Tarot, 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 tarot. Oh. Yeah, let's see that. Oh, excuse you. Look at you showing up here. Queen of Wands, the Sun, the Two of Cups, the Hermit, the Three of Wands. Oh. Wait, this might give me mail. <gasps> Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a woman who tells people off. <laughs> okay, well then. There will be somebody on the receiving end of this, and I don't think the receiving end is you. I think the receiving end is somebody else, and they're going to be like, oh my god. Maybe you are on fire. Okay, you are sitting comfortably, very uh, confidently in your throne. You are showing up in your highest element here as the Queen of Wands, sharing this card with your other fellow fire signs, Aries and Leo, all right? You're confident. You demand presence in a room. You walk into a room and you know, you know how to use the femininity to get what you want. All right, and if you're a male and you have this, you're just tapping into the feminine energy. That's okay. It's okay. We all have feminine and masculine energies. All right. Um, it really irks me when people are like, is this only for women? Like, no, bro. But if it's the queen of wands, it's the feminine energy of the queen in the wands suits. Okay. What do you want me to do? The cards are not gender neutral. All right. And then you have the sun beside it. You're ready to start something new here. You're ready to embark on a new journey. You're ready to um, connect with other people. You're ready to, um, you have like this uh, external optimism, okay? This, uh, this joy and hope, knowing that everything's gonna be all right, you know this. And that's how you're walking into uh, potential relationships or connections with people. You have a sunny disposition. You look at things from the bright side. You have a glass half full uh, personality perspective. And you've done this through cultivating a lot of your own self work, right? Like you've done this through taking a lot of self care, a lot, doing a lot of self work, shadow work, um, integration of the shadow, uh, practicing awareness and consciousness. This is a lot of self reflection, very Virgo energy, okay? Nurturing, introspection, depth, okay? And notice how the hermit is illuminating the two of cups, the sun and the queen of wands, okay? So there's a lot of energy here to be set about the way that you are illuminating yourself out into the world. The illumination that you have chosen to be as you interact in uh, connections, uh, whether they be new or old, romantic or platonic, okay? Now, this is where things get interesting. You understand that in order to have the relationship that you desire, the connection that you desire, you realize that uh, your past failures play a role right? What happened in the past? What did you do in the past? Why did it fail in the past? How did you play an active participant or an active role, right? How are you part of the reason why these things didn't work out? And the ego doesn't like that, man. The ego is like, it's everybody else's fault, not my fault. I didn't do anything. Awareness, consciousness, evolution, self-growth, self-discovery will tell you differently, all right? Neptune showing up here, very Neptunian rose-colored goggles, ruled in the 12th house with Pisces there. This is the house of the unseen. This is the house of our own undoing, mental institutions, prisons, jails, confinement, okay? This is also such a, a deeply psychic and unconscious realm. This is where a lot of the things that we struggle to see about ourselves live, but it's also where we're most psychic, or where, where we're most spiritual, where we're most connected to the infinite realms of this divine universe, okay? Um, 
And so there's this growth that you this, this growth that you've undertaken here. And it set you on quite the fascinating journey. And as we move on into this week, we have the three of wands. You're realizing the things that you got left behind in order for you to grow and evolve because you no longer want to feel the three of swords. You no longer want to feel sad. You no longer want to feel in pain and in suffering. You're like, I'm done here. So that means I got to move on. There's things I got to let go of. There's things I've realized about myself and I'm on my way. I'm on my way to find stability, to find joy, to find happiness, to find that right relationship or that right career or that right whatever it is for you that is going to fulfill you, that is what it, that you desire in your life. And you're willing to fight for it. You're willing to put in the elbow grease, to burn the midnight oil. You're willing to do the work to get that which you desire. And therefore, you will be successful in your journey, but not before having to fully let go and release uh, potentially a king of pentacles, low Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or understanding the pains and suffering that may have happened, especially for those of you that have father wounds. And so the wheel turns, and the wheel turns in lightning speed. A new beginning embarks. That's exciting. All right, let's move into your love reading and see what's going on. Okay, um, hold on. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da -da. Crystals that I would recommend for you by Somers. One piece in particular would be uh, Priestess or High Priestess. Two pieces, I guess, in front of her life. Um, would be Labradorite and the Moonstone or the Blue Lace Agate and the Moonstone to help you tune in, tap into your psyche, um, to really connect with that Piscean Neptunian energy. Okay, another piece that I would also recommend would be Sekhmet. I'm not wearing mine. Where is mine? Oh, I think it's over there. It's packed to go. Um, the segment has all these beautiful crystals, including rose quartz. It's got um, moonstone. It's got pearls. It's got um, blue lace agate, um, a mazonite, all right, and the um, all-seeing eye, the nazar, to help you stay focused on a high vibrational energy, okay, um, while also blocking and emitting any toxicity that may come your way. What I also really love about this piece is that um, you can wear it as a choker, you can wear it loose, there's so many different ways that you can wear this piece. Um, and so all the pieces I've designed over at Starseed Jewels and I've created myself and my jewelry creator and I make them. We hand make the orders um, based on uh, the orders that are placed. <laughs> and for those of you that want to, oh, we're moving into your love reading. Sorry, I got lost. I got lost there for a minute. That's the Neptunian coming in. Um, for those of you that want to learn how to be professional tarot readers, take a look at the description box below. My next live and interactive tarot course is happening August 20th and 21st. It's two days. It's intensive. It's live over on Zoom. I meet you. You meet me. We work together. I teach you how to read the cards. I teach you how to tap into your psychic abilities, your inner wisdom, your intuition. And then on layer two, I teach you how to start your own business here on YouTube. All right. Let's get back into this love because I'm seeing something. I'm on my way. What did I say about the X? <gasps> wow, zers. And then you got true love and flirt. Baby, you're you're searching and you're gonna find faster than I think you recognize Sagittarius. You're gonna be finding that true love. Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. You're almost there. Flirt, Ten of Wands, wow, yeah. And then what's this, release your ex. Oh. Hello, what's this, release the ex. Knight of Pentacles, twice showing up. Ace of Cups at the bottom, the world in justice. It's coming, baby. It's coming for you. Look, 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 look. The star on top of her, her third eye here in her crown. Ding. It's 
It's going to connect you to this love that you desire. Ooh, what a fun reading, Sagittarius. All right, let me know in the comments below if this resonated. If you want to shop at Starcy Jewels and support my jewelry line, or if you want to enroll in the Tarot Intensive or work with me in any other capacity, take a look at the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.